Hi, this is Mike, and I'm back with another Concepts video for drum pad beats. This one is focused on pads and their modes. This is probably the most important thing to understand in the app to get the most use out of it. Um, starting off, we have the pad mode, and the pad modes are up in the header here. And there's scene, sequencer, and mixer. And so what you'll notice about this app is it's kind of almost like transformers in a way where you have the main mode and then each main mode brings in the context sub modes. So for the scene mode, we have the song mode and the pad mode. And the pad mode switches from synth to drum to synth to drum but the song mode is the sub mode and that's how you sequence your sections and song and then get out that's the sub mode button so scene mode has your scenes song and pad The next mode is the sequencer mode, which is a 16th step sequencer. And it has a sub mode in synth, which is the keyboard. And the keyboard type depends on the actual synth type that I spoke previously about in the sound kits where you have a synth or you have a 16 pad sampler which has 16 different samples instead of a keyboard so if i was to select this one with that grid icon you would see the sampler keys come up and if i select one with the synth that's just a map synth of different sounds and the sequencer mode also has another sub mode which is the arpeggiator and I'll get more into that, but that's this button. You can only access that in sequencer mode. You can see it disappears in the other two modes. And if you deselect a pad mode, it will give you synths and drum on one screen, which is kind of handy. And then the last pad mode is mixer. And so as you select, changes focus on the actual mixer settings for the channel. So each synth pad has its own EQ settings, delay, reverb, volume. And then each drum bank of eight has its own. So you can see if I adjust the high and bass for the top eight and then the bottom eight. And then you can also, this is an the mixer concepts, but this button, the grid button, then you can change the individual drum sounds and the pan and volume. So we have the pad mode of scene, sequencer, and mixer, and then the mixer has its sub modes. Channel effects, channel mixer, send master effects and master settings and then the last modes we have is the select modes and this is totally relating to the pads so you have select where you select the pads in select mode you can long press and it will open up the audition browser so you can switch out stuff easily And then going back to the pad, this one is the pad mode, the pad playing mode. So it won't select the channel, but it's for recording. So like if you start recording here, And we have, 
you get the focused we go back to select and you can see the notes I entered for this those were the notes recorded in pad audition mode and then you have loop mode which loops on and off the pads And then we have mute, which obviously mutes pads, and the solo, which solos all pads on solo. And then you can double click, and it will just unsolo this bank and leave this bank muted. So select, pad audition, record, loop, mute, and solo. And also in select mode, you can double tap and it will engage and disengage the loop of the to quick way to, if you just don't want to switch to loop and back to select. So covering everything, we have scene, the pad mode, scene, sequencer, mixer, and then the sub mode of scene is to create your song. Sequencer sub mode is the keyboard in context to with what channel type you have playing and there is no keyboard for drums because they're just one shots and you can pitch them in their mixer settings and then we have the mixer with the sub modes channel effects mixer EQ master send master effects master and the audition browser and then we have select mode, pad audition mode, pad loop mode, mute, and solo. And that's the main gist of pad modes and how it's basically navigation of the app and how you get and change settings, note data and mixer effects, etc. So that about does it for this. Thanks for watching and I'll be back with another concepts video. Thanks.